Hello guys and welcome to my Project Wax update for February. What a wonderful So as a reminder, this is my project where I share with you guys my progress on my candles as I'm trying to work through my collection. I do have a pretty big collection that I need to work through before I buy some more stuff. So that's what this is all about. And I'm going to update you on the four that I finished in the last month. And then I have some updates on progress and some new candles that I'm going to add in. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first candle I have is Champagne Toast that I did finish off in the last month. We went from here to here. And you guys, Champagne Toast, she's just a queen. You know, I'm always gonna love her. I probably will get another one sometime soon because I'm really loving it, but finish that off. Also, sorry if you can hear Kai whining because he's sitting on the couch right there and staring at me while I film this video like he does every time that I film this video. Okay, the next one that I have that I finished is a Wildberry and Ube. I went through this one really quickly because it was brand new when I put it in last month and I totally finished it. This was very satisfying. This one was fresh wild berries, purple ube, and creamy vanilla. I will say it started to get a little murky near the end, but it was really good. Up until about right here, I can actually see where the soot started, um, right about here. But that's typical, I find, for berry um, candles is that right about like maybe one third, one third left of the candle, they start to get a little murky. But I really like this one. Definitely didn't get any ube in there. It's basically just a berry vanilla scent. I also finished off Goose Creek's Hot Cocoa and Peppermint. Really happy to have finished this one because it was just like a random Christmas candle that I had in my collection. So we went from here and finished it off. I probably had like two or three burns in this one, but it burned really well, um, went all the way down and it was a good candle. It's pretty artificial though, so I won't be getting it again. And the last candle that I finished is Twisted Peppermint in the Single Wick and this one so good. I loved this one. I went from here and basically finished it probably the next burn. It was great. I love this one. I pretty much did this one only in the bathroom or the bedroom and I really enjoyed it. Okay, I only have three to update progress on because um, it was the only three that were left after I finished those four off. So the first I have is Caramel Frappuccino from this little collection from Candle Day and I did get a little bit of progress from here to here. Not a ton. Um, it's rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, milk and sweet caramel syrup. It is like super, super sugary sweet. And I'm almost preferring like a Paris Cafe kind of coffee over this now, but I am still using it probably once or twice a week in the mornings for work. It's a nice like work from home morning scent, but it's not my favorite, it's a little too sweet. And then we have brioche French toast from that same collection. This one is fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup and a dollop of butter, basically just pumpkin pecan waffles. But it's still, it's amazing, it's so good. But we went from here to here not burning it a ton. It's really like a Sunday morning pancakes kind of scent. So I don't burn it all the time, but it's a very good scent and it's very strong. And then Feel Loved Champagne Cupcake from the Valentine's collection last year. I just love this lid. It's so cute. And I did get quite a bit of progress. We went unused all the way down to here. So I'll definitely have it finished off in February. It's a great scent. Just like a really nice, sweet cupcake icing scent. It's really not that strong, but it's perfect to have just like in my bedroom and it's really nice. Okay, next I'm going to introduce some candles that I want to add to the project. And the first one I've actually just been burning a whole lot and that's In The Stars. I love these body care collection candles. They are just perfect for the bedroom. So I'm already more than halfway done on this candle. I've just been really loving it in the bedroom at night. It's like the perfect mood booster. It's Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, and Radiant Amber. It just really makes me feel like a grown-up. It is so wonderful. Just a beautiful, womanly scent. I love it so much. It just makes me feel really confident burning this scent. So I've, I've been loving this one, obviously, and I'm gonna continue to burn through it. It's probably gonna be gone in the next month because I'm just loving it that much. And then another one I've already been burning is Black Teakwood. I was kind of feeling, um, like a coconutty or like a summery scent. So instead of going straight coconut, I opted for a teakwood scent instead. And this one is rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. It's also like a very nice kind of semi-masculine scent. So I'll burn this usually when Ryan's home at nighttime, like after we've had dinner or something. And I'm about halfway on the candle. It's wonderful. It is so strong. 
it's perfect to get rid of any lingering scents after you've like been cooking and stuff. So I've been loving it. And yeah, I just love like these kind of mahogany or teakwood scents. They're so strong and they last forever. So love those. And then I'm putting in a random one from Goose Creek. This is chocolate drizzled popcorn. I realized when I did my candle collection video last month that I have quite a few um, random winter scents left over that aren't necessarily winter. So this one is one of them. It is a chocolate popcorn scent. Kind of just smells like chocolate to me, honestly. Um, I am only about right here on the packaging. So I have quite a ways to go. I don't really love how this smells when burning. So I'm just gonna try to burn it to get through it. Honestly, I'm not loving it, but I feel like it'll be fine to just go in the living room for a little while throughout the day. And the last candle that I'm putting in is pistachio and toasted vanilla. Love, love, love this scent. They brought it back out for candle day or really just for winter time, I guess, last year. And it's so wonderful. It's salted pistachios and toasted vanilla almonds. It's super, super simple. It's unused and I know I'm going to love it. It's like the perfect spring scent. So I'm just, I'm really happy that I'm putting this one in because it's like a little treat to myself for getting through some more winter candles. So yeah, I'm very excited to start burning this one because it's one of my favorites. And that's it for the Project Wax update. So I have my seven candles that I'll be working through over the next month. I feel like I have a really great variety in there. Um, you know, fresh scents, fruity scents, sweet scents. So I have like a lot to work on. So let me know down below what you've been burning recently. I'm curious to hear where you're at on your like seasonal burning rotation right now. I know for most of the country, it's still snowing. So are you still kind of doing like peppermints and stuff? Let me know down below what you're moving on to, but that's everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.